Finally, Iser Aptitude Test 2023 announcement has been done on the official website. There have been some changes in the marking scheme of the examination. In this video, I will tell you in detail about eligibility criteria, the marking scheme which is changed, what is the exam pattern, is maths or biology compulsory or not, what is the syllabus, what are the important dates and how to prepare for all of this. Okay, so first of all, please like this video right now and subscribe to this channel. And second, if you have not already checked our crash courses for IAT NS 2023 exam, link is in the description. Don't forget to check them because we have got selections like All India Rank 1, 12, 13 and more than 200 students in different ISAs and total 400 selections in the extra, right? Now let me come to the video and first tell you about the marking scheme which has been changed this year. So in the marking scheme, first let me tell you the exam pattern, right? So exam pattern is same. Again, you have 15 questions in each subject, total four subjects, physics, chemistry, maths and biology. And each subject 15 questions earlier there was three marks right but now for each question you will get plus four marks if you do it correctly if you do it uh, wrong then you get minus one negative marking and if you don't attempt the question you get zero marks so in each subject now 15 questions into four marks that is 60 marks for each subject and total you have four subjects right so total paper will be 240 marks and as i told you the marking scheme is minus one out of four marks so still the percentage of marking scheme earlier it was plus three marks with minus 0.75 uh, negative marking so it was 25 percent right 0.75 divided by three now out of four marks you will get one negative marking right so still the percentage of negative marking is minus 0.25 only. So you don't need to worry about, you know, is the paper going to be much hard because of the marking scheme or not. Because of marking scheme or negative marking, the paper difficulty level is not going to change. The difficulty level will change because now uh, the applications are going to increase because of IC Bangalore and all. But it does not matter. See, if you were doing some questions correctly last year and you were getting plus three marks or minus 0.75 negative marking, then this year you will get same question correct. You will get plus four and still get minus one negative mark. So the percentage of negative marking was 25% last year also and 25% this year also. So no need to get worried about it. And even the number of questions are still the same, right? Only the total number of marks in the IIT 2023 has been changed. And from 180 marks, it has been increased to 240 marks of the total paper. Now, one more important thing to clarify that that maths or biology is not compulsory to attempt in IIT 2023. You, it is up to you. You can attempt all four sections. You can attempt any two section, any three section. You can attempt only one question also. Only thing is that you need to get marks, right? So obviously you will not attend just one or two sections. You should try to attempt as many sections as possible and try to solve as many questions as possible. So this was about the marking scheme and the exam pattern. Now let me tell you about the eligibility criteria. First one is that you must have minimum 55 percentage if you are ST, SC or PWD category. For all the other categories, you need to have minimum 60 percent in your class 12th board examination. Second is that your class 12th examination should be either in 2022 or in 2023. That means only first dropper or the students giving 12th examination in 2023 can appear IAT 2023 or apply for the ISERs. The third criteria is that you must have minimum three of the science subject out of physics, chemistry, maths and biology. So minimum three, it can be physics, chemistry, math, it can be physics, chemistry, bio or any three combination. You must have at least three of PCMB subject in your class 12th board examination. And finally, the fourth one, as you can see, applicants must be Indian nationals or PIO or OCI in order to apply through KVPY and IAT channel. And if you are not Indian national or PIO or OCI, then you can only apply to JE advanced channel. Now, there are three channels of admission to ISERs. First one is the ISER aptitude test. As you can see, the examination is going to happen on 17th of the June, Saturday, 2023 at 9am all over India. The second channel is KVPY channel in which only KVPY SA 2021 qualified candidates can get admission into ISER through KVPY SA 2021. Another thing is that candidates in extended KVPY merit list are not eligible and candidates seeking admission under this channel do not have to appear for IAT 2023. Similarly, in the third channel, which is J advanced channel, you don't need to give IAT exam. But important part is that in all three channels, you can actually apply if you are eligible. If you are eligible for this channel, uh, you can apply through multiple channels. For example, you can also give ISER aptitude test. You can also give JE advanced examination. And let's say you could not get good marks in IAT, right? You might get very good rank in JE advanced. Now, what are the eligibility for JE advanced? 
channels. So first of all, you must give JE advance in 2023. Second, that your rank in common rank list or in the category list, list be it general category, STS, OBC, whatever category list, it should be within 15,000 rank. Now let me tell you about the important dates for IET and KVPY channel. The application will start from 15th of the April 2023 and the last date of application is 25 of the March 2023. For J advance, the dates are not announced yet. Iser aptitude test is going to happen on 17th of the June 2023. And finally, the result is going to be announced on 3rd of the July 2023. Now, regarding the admit card details, regarding the counseling after you qualify the exam, all the details I will give you in this channel. So don't need to, to worry about all of those things. Okay. Now, let me tell you about the fees. As you can see here, for general EWS and OBC, the fees is 2000 rupees. For PWD candidates, Kashmiri migrant, SC and ST category, it is 1000 rupees. And for foreign nationals, it is $100. That is about 8000 rupees, I think. And application fees is non-refundable at all. So even if you have applied and if you want to withdraw the admission, you will not get your application fees back. Now there is also seat acceptance fees SAF, which we will discuss during the counseling that will be paid when you will be doing first round of the counseling and all that. So you don't need to worry about SAF and all those things right now. Okay. Coming to the syllabus. So syllabus is totally same as the NCERT class 11th and class 12th textbook. You don't need to worry about anything else apart from this. But you make sure you practice enough of the mock test and trace your papers regarding the application when it will start on 15th of the April, I will definitely update you on this YouTube channel. Another most important thing you have seen this whole video, the most important part is how you will prepare for remaining two to three months and you don't have to waste. First of all, don't waste any time watching any kind of YouTube videos or reels and all only watch the important videos where you get authentic information like this one from the official website. Second, the strategy to right now use is question to theory approach. You need to practice as as many questions as possible regarding the revision first you should revise the chapters you have already covered by solving mock test and trace papers second the chapters and theory you have not covered till now you must focus on the priority order so i have already made videos on the important chapters for physics chemistry maths and bio right i have also given free pdf for all four subjects in science trial so go and see those pdf and starting from the most important the next one the next one like this you must cover your theory. So first focus on important thing in remaining two, three months, you cannot cover whole of the theory. What you need to do is there are some topics and chapters that are guaranteed to come. For example, from coordination compound, at least one question is guaranteed to come from isomerism or CFT or VBT or Werner's theory, right? Similarly, from chemical bonding, one question from molecular orbital theory or VBT or VCFPR theory, shape and geometry of molecules is guaranteed. Minimum one to two questions from chemical bonding. Similarly, let's say in biology, genetics, one question is guaranteed. So like this, now, important thing is that from Syastra, I study materials and mock tests about 10 to 14 questions got repeated last year in each subject in IIT 2023. You can check this video here. In biology, some of the concepts and chapters that were taught just two days before the examination were repeated in the mock test. So I would highly recommend you, you must see our crash courses for 2023. Those are very affordable, just 4,000 rupees and the discount is valid till the 20th of the March. You can get all of the live revision classes every day. We will cover class 11th important chapter plus class 12th important topics and chapters. Every day there will be a revision class for physics, chemistry, maths, bio, all four subjects. And we will give special guidance to non-bio and non-math student. There will be more than 12 mock tests with detailed solutions. You will get all five previous year papers from 2017 to 2022 and the detailed solution for all of this previous year paper. There will be doubt clearing sessions every Saturday and Sunday. There will be private telegram group where you can always ask your doubt for each subject there will be groups and all. So you will get complete guidance in the IAT 2023 complete crash course. The link is in the description. Don't miss it. Okay. With that, all the best. If you have any other questions, write in the comments below. You can always message me personally in Siesta app regarding the demo class for the crash course. You can find here. I will put the link at the end screen and also in the description. Also, you can buy just one rupee course in Siesta app to see how the mock test and demo classes are happening in Siesta app. Don't miss it. You just have two to three months remaining, even less than that. Focus on this. Don't waste time at all. And if you do not implement strategy after watching this video, you're just wasting your time. I am sorry, but I don't want to, you know, give you fake motivation. You need to work hard and just two months are remaining. All the fun you can have later. All the best. See you at Isers. Koi bhi sapna sakar karne ke liye sabse zaruri hai sahi coach ka hona. Chuniye Sai Astra aur kare apne IAT and Nest ka sapna sakar. Download the app now.